Rena Filstar XP Series canister filters have a flow rate of 250 gallons to 450 gallons per hour and is for aquariums from 45 gallons to 265 gallons. It has one, two, three, or four filter baskets which provide mechanical, biological, and chemical filtration. It has a complete flow through filter media and long life ceramic shaft and is very quiet. You can customize the outflow with a spray bar, floor adjustment, or different outlets. It's very easy to clean and prime. It comes with the filter foam, microfiltration pad, and the Biochem Zorb pouch, which helps to control colors and odors. It comes with a two-year manufacturer's warranty. This is the XP-1. This handles aquariums up to 45 gallons. Whenever you're working on it, you want to make sure the power cord is unplugged. It has quick release latches on each side. There's four of them. You release that to take off the top. Your basket is inside. It has handles to be easily removed and it has your different media in that and it comes with the filter. We have a foam pad at the bottom. We have our little ceramic biologic filter media. We have the chemical. This is for the chemical absorption here. And then we have a fine polishing pad on top. And this goes down on top. And then we have this all back together. This goes in there and it's all ready to go. You should rinse these before you use them. Top goes back on securely and latches into place very easily. Now we're ready for the next part, which is to connect our outflow and intake tubes to the aquarium and to the filter. Now we're ready to attach the tubing for the outflow and the intake tubes. These come in separate parts in the box and you can adjust these any way. We're going to put a power bar across on this one for our uh, outflow track. We, there's a barbed area right here. We put that on and then there are little clamps here to securely attach it. These are quick attach and release. You can snap those into place. And if you notice, this is black and that will correspond to the correct black spout on the filter. You must, they're color coded, you must have them correct, correctly applied. So then we will attach this. It has suction cups and we attach it onto the back of the aquarium to where we want it. And again, there are many different ways you can do this uh, to provide aeration, different flows, and different places that you would want the outflow track to run in the aquarium. We then have the intake. And again, we've attached this as well. The barb, we've put that on there. We've used this attachment here to make sure it doesn't come off. This is the cap that we'll use to prime it. And this should be about four inches above the gravel, about this height right here. It has suction cups attached here. They're easy snap on to attach to the back of the aquarium. So we do the same thing on this side. We put that in. Attach it with the suction cups. And now we're ready to cut the tubes to the correct length to attach to the filter. We put our filter to where it's going to stay underneath the aquarium. And now we have to cut the intake and outlet tubes to length. Um, give yourself extra room. You do not want to cut them too short. They should be at least four inches beyond where you want to attach them. So I'm going to mark that. This was the black colored one. This is the blue one. And I'm going to give it about four inches beyond there. And then you'll take a scissors, cut that. Then we attach that to here. And you want to put that all the way on there, on over those barbs on each one. Now after we have those on, we're going to apply these safety clamps so they do not come off. And they go like that, and then you can use some pliers to attach and secure them. And ready. Now we're ready to fill and prime. 
Must lift this black lever. Now we're ready to fill. We want to take the black cap off of your intake tube. There's a funnel that comes in the kit. We're going to put that right in there. We're going to dip out some of the water and we just fill this up. That's all there is to that. Must put the top back on. After we filled the intake up and put the cap back on, then we put this black down and it will automatically fill. You have to wait two minutes for that to occur. You'll notice after two minutes that your canister is completely filled up with water and there's no more bubbles coming out of the outflow tube and you notice that your aquarium water level is a little lower which you'll need to add once we're done. Now we're ready to plug it in. No leaks, quiet, good filter flow, 250 gallons per hour. For additional information on the products used in this video, please visit PetSolutions.com.